I have a question for you. Have you ever wanted to do something in this world that's different than you've ever dreamed you could do? But when you go after it, you start thinking to yourself, hmm, why would anybody want to fill in the blank? Why would anybody want to buy a product from me when they could go and get someone else's? Why would somebody come to my live event if they could go to somebody else's live event? Why would somebody buy my audio program if they could buy somebody else's audio program? You're not alone. I've had those thoughts as well. And it's funny because just recently I was doing a webinar to promote Free the Dream Conference. You can learn more about Free the Dream over at freethedream.live, by the way. Anyway, I had this webinar promoting the Free the Dream event and somebody posted a question saying, hey, how do I choose who to listen to? There's so many different options out there for me uh, that quite frankly, I just don't know who I should follow. Everybody seems to have a, well, there are some common themes about things that they say that you should do, uh, but there's some conflicting advice. I just don't know. Do you have any thoughts on who I should follow? And what I love about doing these Q and A's, not knowing what the questions are in advance, it's amazing what just comes out of my mind after spending days, weeks, months, or even years pondering certain questions in my own mind. What I'm about ready to share with you is the answer that I gave to that question that is the summation of what I've come to believe about the value that I bring to the table as a content creator who is doing things that, quite frankly, other people are doing well. There's a time when I felt like they're doing it at a much higher, more proficient level, uh, more qualified level than I do it. But yet, at the same time, being so far into the process, I realized there are people who said, Cliff, I'd much rather hear this information from you than so-and-so or so-and-so. Your voice is the one I listen to. You're somebody that I respect and, and I resonate with you and your story more. And so take a look at the response that I gave to Christoph who asked the question of who should he follow? Christoph says, hi Cliff, I have a question. There is an overwhelming choice of help offered from all different people. It is hard to decide what to choose. People have all kinds of problems and inter internal blocks what, what and why should I choose? Okay, so Christoph, first and foremost, you're absolutely right. There's a lot of people who have lots of information to offer you. You could go to Tony Robbins, which is where I personally go myself. That's where I'm learning so many different things. I go to Jim Rohn and purchase his materials. Of course, he's no longer with us today, but his legacy continues through his organization that, that still makes his content available. I read a lot of books. I have lots of mentors that I go to their stuff and I take all of that stuff and I put it together in my own way. What I encourage you to do is find somebody that their voice resonates with you. Somebody that you feel like I can relate to who that person is. If that's me, then I would encourage you to choose me. If it's not me, then I encourage you to find somebody else. When I first decided I want to quit being the podcast answer man and I want to be known as the mindset answer man, I want to completely get rid, I want to completely kill and destroy my podcast coaching and consulting business that is holding me back from living the life for which I was created. I was created to help people free the dream inside of them. I was created to encourage and educate and inspire people to become who they were created to be, to break free from the limiting beliefs that are holding them back. That's who I am. The very first thought that came to my mind is, well, why would anybody want to hire me when they could go straight to Tony Robbins' events? Why would they hire me if they could just listen to his audio programs? And then you know what? Is I realize it's like, <laughs> you go to those events and he's mother effer this and, and it's cuss word here. Now, the thing is, is that doesn't offend me at all. Personally, I can handle a lot of language and stuff like that, but there's a lot of people that really turns off. And so if you're, not, if you're turned off by a lot of foul language, chances are you're not going to like a Tony Robbins event. There's other things, for example. Uh, some people are really offended by new age woo woo. Hey, we're gonna sit here and we're gonna connect to the universal energy force and vibrations of, of the universe and connect to the universal consciousness. All right, now sit down as we meditate for, for the next 90 minutes. If you're not cool with that, chances are you're not gonna like a Tony Robbins event. Now the thing is, I went there with an open mind, but at the same time, I'm like, eh, this, this portion of the event is probably not for me. It depends on each person. What I knew is that I went to a Tony Robbins event and it's like, man, 
everybody on earth needs to know this information. Everyone needs to be able to experience the breakthrough, uh, to be able to break free from these limiting beliefs, to understand that they can achieve so much more, that they have all of the resources they need to live the lives which God created them to live. Everyone needs this. But is everyone going to go to a Tony Robbins event? Is everybody going to listen to Jim Rohn, who always talks like this? And he ends every sentence like this. Like no other life form on earth has, to alter the course of our life, you don't have to keep flying south. If south is not getting you the money and the joy and the pleasure, I'm telling you, you can alter the course. Learning is the beginning of wealth. Learning is the beginning of health. And here's where it can all start. He's got amazing content, but his voice grates on me. It's not his voice. It's his inflection. inflection. Thank you, Stephanie. I, I love Jim Rohn. Don't get me wrong. And I will listen to his content and I will study it for those who also, like me, don't want to hear that. And I will try to find a way to make that message my own, put it in my own stories, apply it to my own life first, and then teach it based not on something I heard, and you should hear this also. No, this is something I heard, I've tested, I found to be true, and now I will teach it to you and how it's applied to my life and how I know it will apply to yours as well. Hey, I hope that you're enjoying this type of content. I host webinars pretty frequently for those who are on my mailing list. If you haven't done so already, I encourage you to head over to mindsetanswerman.com slash free. At mindsetanswerman.com slash free, you will have the opportunity to see the opening keynote address for my Free the Dream 2018 event. It is an opening keynote address that will, well, change your life. I know that's a bold promise, but here's the thing. If you head over to mindsetanswerman.com slash free, there's a landing page there that makes even more bold promises. And I wanna let you know it's all 100% free. You get a 90 second video clip that you can watch on that page to decide whether or not you wanna invest one hour watching me give the Free the Dream opening keynote address. I promise you this though, if you go to mindsetanswerman.com slash free, you'll see the 90 second video clip and I assure you, you will sign up for the free access to the whole one hour talk. And if you watch that one hour talk, it alone will have a powerful and positive impact on your life. In fact, I'll follow up with you and ask you, did I deliver on my promise? Head over to mindsetanswerman.com slash free today.